you can't protect the Galapagos Islands, what part of the planet can you protect? The Galapagos is one of the first choices as a hope spot. I first had the opportunity to go there myself in 1966. The land, of course, it was magical, but underwater it was too. The Galapagos National Park came into being. 97% of the land safeguarded. Ocean has been regarded as a totally different dynamic. But that changed. We are at Darwin's U. It used to be Darwin's Ark, a thousand kilometers away from the coast of Ecuador in the northern region of the Galapagos. To witness some of the incredible biodiversity that only happens here. We're here on an expedition that really kickstarts an important moment in time, which is the 25th anniversary of the creation of the Galapagos Marine Reserve. For such a relatively small marine reserve, at the confluence of these major ocean currents, it gives us huge variety of habitats. It has a very high level of endemism. That is, species are found here that are found nowhere else in the world. We all know that because of Charles Darwin and his work on land, but it holds true for the ocean too. Galapagos is a very diverse place, yet we don't know a lot of things about how different the composition of diversity is. So we're trying to see which are the hotspots of biodiversity. What we have here in Galapagos is a remote set of islands trying to come to the grips with the fact that we have a limited amount of space and resources for a growing population. How do we deal with that and maintain our biodiversity, which feeds us and is driver of our economy? So I think if we can get it right here, that is a blueprint for getting it right across the planet.